Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Rocio. We are the Riveros, and these are two pups, Journey. And Wilson. <laughs> this is our van, Vincent Van Gogh, Vinny for short. And it is a Thor Sequence 20L. Come inside. Hello, Hello Wilson. Wilson. So this is our kitchen. We have plenty of counter space, and if we want additional counter space, we have this cutting board that it serves like extra counter space. Uh, we have a two burner stove. We need that for coffee more than anything. <laughs> when it's not in use, we put this drying mat that serves, has two purposes. So we can use it to dry our dishes, obviously, and also when we are in transit, we put a couple of things here like bananas or things like that so they don't fall. So it, it's just a non-slip mat. We have a pretty decent sink. So actually this one is a pretty decent size. Sometimes we can actually just put things in there and cover it and move. Like there's no problem with that. So far we haven't needed to have a bigger sink than this. This works perfectly. Then we have a little bit of the core. I know that most people use Velcro to attach their things. We tried that and they were falling off. <laughs> so another RVer actually gave us a pro tip and she uses Loctite. So it's like a putty and then you put that and it's like earthquake proof and they're not going anywhere. And then over here in this compartments is our storage for the food. As you can see, all kinds of knickknacks. What we've done in most of the cabinets, we have extra shelves that we put in there. Another thing that we actually suggest is having stuff that can fall, put it in a little bin. That way it's accessible, but it won't actually go anywhere. So here we have a microwave. Everything has to be multi-purpose in this lifestyle. So when we need to make popcorn, you turn on the generator, you put these things right here in the non-slip mat, ready to go. In my personal opinion, I would prefer storage. However, it's convenient sometimes you want to make popcorn. <laughs> so it is convenient to have it. However, we don't use it as much as other people do. And then here we put our utensils. It's a very big drawer and they were able to put our pans in there too. We have this mini fridge, we call it the magic box, because it just looks tiny, but it's actually the depth of this, and we can fit so much in there. It's unbelievable. Every time we go to the grocery store, it's like, oh God, we bought too much, where are we gonna put all that? And then magically, just everything fits in there. This area is a dedicated area for the dogs. This is the dog aisle. <laughs> so we have made it super comfortable for them. Here we store most of their items that we use every day. So the leash, their uh, little toys are here, bags, you name it, is gonna be on this compartment if we use it frequently. Then their bed, they both fit in there very comfortably. We actually made it by reusing some leftover cushions it's better than the dog bed that you get at the store. They're living the life. <laughs> and this is very important because we want to keep the van climate controlled. So either for if it is too hot or if it is too cold or for privacy. And we just close this here and attach this one from there. And there you have it. And this right here is an additional working station. So this one seat swivels around fully. And then here, you pull this out and it's extra counter space or a working station. Okay, so something that was a surprise to us and was definitely a selling point for this van, since our dogs are such a big important part of our lives, we needed to have their food and the water, you know, out for sure. But with this, we get to use it when we need to and then put it away. So that is not in the middle of the way all the time. It's just tucked away right there. We also have this super cute water bowl. So it's a gravity bowl and it doesn't splash. So even in transit, it will move away. And as they drink, it just keeps going down. So that way you don't have splash all over. We had to deal with the splashing for a while. And when I found this, it was like a lifesaver.
So we knew we wanted to get into this lifestyle. Actually, back in 2016, we were already playing with the idea, looking at videos, looking at all kinds of tiny homes. And there was a big natural disaster that put things into motion. Yeah. Hurricane Maria. We were living in Puerto Rico at the time. So that was like the thing that made us, okay, this is the time. We should, if we're going to do it, this is the time to do it. Yeah, we uh, we had been thinking already at that point. I had been living there for about 11 years, and she had been living there for 10 years off and on. So being nomads at heart, we were ready to make a move. We were thinking about coming back stateside, and we had looked at different cities to possibly move to, and we couldn't pick the one city. So we started thinking, well, how can we live in multiple cities? We started YouTubing stuff as we do today, and we fell down the RV slash van life rabbit hole, and immediately we were hooked. So welcome to the living area. Um, here we did a couple of upgrades, uh, the main one being the cushions, the cushions for the bed. So we special order mattresses that were made custom made because they have to be cut out in a certain way for some corners. And on top of that, we decided to put mattress topper <laughs> to make it even more comfortable. Uh, we added a little bit of the core. This area obviously transforms into a working space, dining space and a bedroom. So if you see here, we have a place where you can put some post and then that makes it into a dinette type of deal. And then we can also pull this post and then that converts into the bed. The tables, they actually were supposed to be in the storage compartment. So this entire side is a storage compartment over here. But we wanted to maximize the space. So what we did, we put some baby latches and then we can just unclip it use it and put it away so we can work freely and it's not going to be on the way so if it gets too hot or too cold we have uh, window covers we just put them away behind the couch we put blackout on one side so that way it doesn't look all shiny from outside and then the van comes standard with uh, window shades. So we put that as one layer and then we put the window shade down as an additional layer just to keep everything, all the climate control. So this layout is super functional for us. A lot of people prefer to have the bed made all the time so they don't have to every day get out of their way to make the bed and then make it into a living space. For us it works perfectly and it gives us more area to roam around so it's not as inconvenient if you need to use the restroom or if you need to get to the other side of the van. We have plenty of space for both of us so for us it doesn't make a big difference to just pull three sticks and put the bed down. Reading lights on both sides. This is a lifesaver for climate control. So this ones you can uh, charge them with a USB and then you can clip them anywhere you want and then you keep circulating air. Very inexpensive and we got them on Amazon so anyone can have this. As a girl, we have to look at ourselves and do our makeup and all that thing. So you need a mirror. <laughs> we didn't really have many places where we can put it so we put it here. And the good thing is I didn't attach it to be permanently there. So I put it with Velcro and then I can just take it out, use it. If I want to see me myself in full figure, put it away and then put it right back here. And then our little decor here, obviously picture of us to make it more homey, but I didn't want to add too much because it's a small space. So the more you add, the more cramped you're going to feel. So we have three cabinets on this side, two cabinets on this side. This is pretty much my wardrobe, this area. This is Gabe's, so his and hers. And also 
for all of the other knickknacks that we might have just we don't want it to be rattling around everything has to have a place so something that was a must for us to have in the van was a bathroom however you want privacy when you go to the bathroom so this came really handy when you need to use the restroom you have complete privacy or if you have guests and they're sitting here you don't want them to see your bathroom so you just close it down and it's a separate space The transition from regular sticks and bricks to this lifestyle, as with anything, has pros and cons. And ironically, at least for me, the biggest thing that we left behind and I miss is somehow one of, if not the coolest things about being on the road. And what I mean by that is, you're leaving everyone and everything you know behind. So your best friends, your loved ones, uh, you're going into the unknown, literally hitting the open road with no place to go or be and you don't know anybody. So that's what we miss the most. But this community, when you get out there and you start to meet people, is the nicest and most amazing community. So leaving those we loved, the hardest, the Probably the most amazing thing, meeting the new meeting people. The new people, yeah. That is completely how I feel too. Now we get to the fun stuff. Being a kind of techie guy, I go out and I admit I, I like all of the fun, cool gadgets and things. This is probably my favorite part of the van. This tablet feature here controls nearly the entire van. All functions, lights, awnings and stuff. However, being that sometimes I could be a little lazy, it's you forget to turn the light off in bed, you don't wanna get up. And the fact that it's 2022, there's an app for that. So, ah, let's have some fun. Oh man, it's a hot day. We need shade. No worries, I got you. You can extend the awning. Oh, we need more shade? I'll let it keep going. And you let it go, and it will go by, by itself. When you're done, hit the retract button, hold it for a second. Hands free, no luck. This thing pretty much runs the entire van you even can turn on and off the onboard generator with this app and you can check the level of your batteries both house and van battery very cool this van also has a very cool feature which we'll show you right now this is something that we actually had to use uh, we have an emergency start button believe it or not on this van that connects the house battery to the van battery we left lights on and didn't really realize it when we woke up we heard beeping throughout the night kind of ignored it when if you've ever done van or rv life you should never do <laughs> we woke up to a dead battery very easy we hit the switch and it draws power off of the house battery and it automatically jumps the van you don't have to get cables or anything of that nature to jump the van if you have cables and somebody else is there you can still do that but this has a built-in feature that works great for that back with my trusty app we're gonna go dark real quick and we're back also it's been cool so we haven't had to use the fan but if you've been out on the road in those blistering hot days and you have to open up a window and get some circulation between our little fans that we got that are battery powered and this app, I can just open up our Max Air fan, close it open and turn it on. When we're done, close it up, good to go. As I said, this also controls our AC unit 
Uh, the AC for the AC to work, unfortunately, doesn't work on the batteries. It draws too much, but the built-in generator lets it run with no problem. When the generator's on, we have full access to the van. Now, another cool feature for the techie guy, we have this TV here, which pulls out, swivels. You wanna have lay down and watch a movie at night, popcorn, good to go. If you wanna watch a movie and you're sitting outside, you can swivel it out and by the campfire or watch a movie. Very cool feature. Internet, we have a Verizon uh, jetpack and since we work on the road and we spend all our, uh, we try to spend as much time in the middle of nowhere, we have a WeBoost, which comes in very handy. We've gone with a WeBoost, for those that don't know, is a cell phone booster. And it has boosted our signal either on my phone, I have AT&T, my wife has T-Mobile, and we have the Verizon Jetpack. So between us, <laughs> we have all of the options ready to go and we found that some do work better than others in different places and the WeBoost has definitely given us bars when we've been in the middle of nowhere where we would not have had any, anything. So I have a social media strategy and digital marketing company. She is the brains behind everything we do here and more. <laughs> I am just the do this and do that guy. <laughs> uh, and I, because of Hurricane Maria, was forced to try and work remotely when things were not able to you know, do anything. And that ended up turning the light bulb on and we have been virtual with that ever since. So I run a mental health corporation in Puerto Rico virtually. And welcome to my other office, as my wife likes to call it. <laughs> this is our bathroom. One of the main things when we were getting the van was, I'm clumsy and I bounce into everything. I needed a bathroom that had enough elbow room to move around. So, hence the back shower. This is a wet bath. For those that don't know what that is, it means that the toilet, which is a full flushing toilet, and then you have your shower, which if I step up here, so yeah, shower, put it on, no problem. Put it away. This curtain here comes and wraps all the way around. Then when you're done, you just kind of store it back away. We also have full closet space here. We decided to put a makeshift little shelf inside so that gives us extra storage on the inside for folding clothes. Now I'm gonna take you to the fun area. So another area that we have for fun that is definitely my area is the actual back part of the van. So we got this, which is a swing away. It comes here, you unhook it, you pull out a pin that's in the back and it just swings away. This gives you full access to open the doors with no problem. So when I need to get the hose, we stop to dump or add water, very easy to access and is very functional for us. And this unit also comes with this two bike bike rack, which is on the door. So you actually, just like the tire, can swing away and now I have full access to whatever I need to, be it power or get water or dump. Very useful, very functional. The only thing I recommend, duck, because I have definitely hit my head more than once with the bike rack. And the bikes that we have are actually electric. We spent a while. We wanted electric bikes after extensive research online. The only ones that really could fit for the maximum weight and size on this bike rack. And these have been amazing for us. We've used them in the cities, we've used them off roads. My wife has had a couple of heart attacks going down mountain roads, but we've definitely had, had a great time with them. And also highly recommend if you're doing this and you can get bicycles or uh, electric bikes, definitely a cool way to go. You can see and do a bunch of stuff 
city and off-road highly recommend another cool feature or features on the outside this van comes regular stock it's a ram pro master 3500 chassis however being that we do like to go way off-road into the middle of nowhere we did get a three inch lift we changed and put beefed up all-terrain tires and we added extra storage on top where we have all of our solar this comes standard with 190 watts of solar at two AGM batteries, uh, 100 amp hours each battery, and a thousand watt inverter. We've added since 200 more watts. So now we have a total of 390 watts of solar on the roof. We also switched out the batteries. The batteries on this are down underneath, but we changed those AGMs out for two 100 amp Battleborn lithium batteries. So between alternator charger, solar, and generator, we've gone weeks at a time out on the road. We pretty much always run out of water or tank space, if you know what the tank space is for. So one of the cool things about Vini and why we chose Vini um, is that we get to have a one year warranty it is professionally made because we didn't have the time or the space or the tools to build something and we were never going to build something of this no. like not like this <laughs> not even for close sure. we're not the handiest can we do stuff have we done stuff yeah but we really just wanted to get out on the road so we looked at both options and financially this ended up being a cheaper and easier start the one year warranty is for all of the build so mm -hmm. anything in here that breaks, microwave, TV, cabinets, they will fix. The powertrain and the motor is a th regular three year, 36,000 mile. And we- On the RAM. On the RAM. And we've you know had a couple issues that were taken care of on both sides. So it definitely paid for itself. And we're, we're definitely happy with the way things went. Thank you guys so much for spending a little time of your day and coming to see our van. And if you guys want to follow our adventures, you can find us on YouTube at Our Mixed Journey. And also you can find us on Instagram, which we keep way more updated there. <laughs> <laughs> so we also going to leave the, uh, our handles in the description below. So if you want to follow Our Mixed Journey, that's how to find us. See you on the road.